like a normal day in the EU quarter. But a closer look shows a number of people scrambling up and down the EU's new 312 million euro European Council building. They're Greenpeace activists. They tied themselves to the window frames to reveal a poster reminding EU leaders about what they consider a climate emergency. A few metres away, NGO R Fish had another reminder for EU leaders to support the ocean in their new European Green Deal and put an end to overfishing by 2020. We are happy that the EU Green Deal has made big commitments in terms of ambition, but what we need to ensure is that the ocean is at the centre of the EU Green Deal because the ocean supports all life on the planet. Big day for the brand new EU Council President, Charles Michel, but he seems to have taken the message of activists into account. Climate change is the number one priority for this afternoon's meeting. I hope we will have uh, an agreement. Uh, climate neutrality is a very important goal. It is also a strong signal for the future of Europe. It means that you have to invest massively in research, in innovation, in new strong projects for the future uh, of uh, Europe. While Charles Michel awaits lengthy debates about the European Green Deal and the future EU budget, farmers from Eastern Europe play traditional music. They're calling for better payments for their farmers. Like Greenpeace and Our Fish, they hope that leaders will be listening to the voice of the people today. For your news, I'm Maeve McMahon in Brussels.